on our Yosemite adventures, we're going to Tuolumne Trailhead. This is the trail. We're gonna be walking to this tree that you can actually walk through. You used to be able to drive through it, but it's been closed for 35 years. I wasn't even here. You were. Yeah, I wasn't either. Yes. <laughs> Look at these poor little fire damaged trees. Last year there was one of the biggest fires ever in California. It's so sad. It means don't touch the cone. The cone! We're coming up on the first big tree that we're gonna see on our walk and this isn't even the biggest tree. This is considered a medium sized tree. What kind of tree was that again? A giant sequoia. It's a giant sequoia. So this is the tree, in, in reference to the size of my body. Do you guys remember the part in Zelda where the girl was telling you to stay off the plants? That's what I feel like right now. <sighs> Actual tree of a tunnel. Right now, my camera is sitting on a tree that fell over in 1984, and it is not decomposed as much as my body has. Where you can walk inside. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Oh my goodness, I'm inside of a tree. This is crazy. We're inside of the dead tree right now, guys. What do you think? Yeah, and you can go down about uh, 50 yards or so, and there's a big hole on the side of the tree. So, uh... There's some developing news, guys. There's a bear traffic jam. There's a mama and her little baby cubs, and we're going to get to see them. Gosh, I wish I had that lens. One of my favorite things when traveling is checking out gas stations. So we're stopping here in a little gas station. Let's see what they've got. We've got some wild bagels. Oh! <gasps> This is like a little tiny s'more kit. It's incredible. <gasps> Baby honeys. This is cool. Some authentic pound cake. Oh, some popcorn and pop tarts. Oh, sweet. I can barely find yerba mate at home and they've had every single flavor at every place that I've went. Crispy buttery crust. So we're outside of the state park because you're not allowed to fly drones in the state park. And we're gonna take this little bad boy up and get some super cool shots. So this is the Merced River Valley Canyon, and we're not quite yet to Yosemite Canyon. As you guys can see right here, you'll see a little V, and that is where Yosemite Canyon starts. We're now at Cascade Falls. It's so beautiful. The waterfall runs underneath of this highway and onto the other side. making a quick little pit stop here to Bridal Veil Falls. The one behind us is called Ribbon Falls and normally it only runs for about six weeks out of the year. But since they had a pretty intense winter, it's been running for a little bit longer. Ever since the 
version was called Yosemite and then the next version was El Capitan. That's the only thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to go and visit Yosemite and then visit El Capitan. So we're here. We made it. My goal has been complete. Is that our El Capitan? It's El Cap, yeah, yeah. Wow. Very famous. Yeah, we'll, we'll be going right by it later. So this is one of the tallest waterfalls in the United States. Yeah, yeah, you tall. So we just made it to the base of El Capitan and behind us is Cathedral and there are people climbing this thing right now. The fastest anyone has ever climbed it, freestyle, is what, two hours, 24 minutes? 224, I think is the last time I checked. I oh think that's gosh. the record right now. That's so fast. But usually it'll take a couple of days to actually climb up the entire mountain. So people sleep on the edge in a little bed. They clip themselves to the side of the mountain. That's insane. So this is pretty crazy. I've got two drones in my backpack right now. How many? Two. two. I got two drones. Look at the boy. It's just so crazy that like this is, look there we are, there we are! So as long as there's no interrupted Wi-Fi transmission, you can go to a little bit over a mile. There's our shot. Wow. Let's take it around like this. Get a nice shot. Go real fast. Mm -hmm. And that's the spark. There's bugs everywhere. Is there a bug? Birthday is today. That bowling party. I can't believe it's a year ago. We made it back from a long adventure. And you guys know, basically, like, if I asked Jenna, what's my favorite food? This is probably one of the things she would say. Meatballs. Meatballs. <laughs> Temperature is extremely confusing because it is so warm, yet we're trudging in snow. We're heading up to Sentinel Dome, and then we're heading to a place called Glacier, which I feel like I'm on a glacier right now. Are we going up there? Yeah, I, uh, you know, I've got the same question. So this is where we were standing yesterday, where I took this picture, and here we are above the waterfall. El Capitan's over here to my left. Yes, El Cap. Tumble. Look at this view. We made it to the top of Sentinel Dome. Uh, I almost fell a few times. It's okay, we're here now. <laughs> Definitely have not worn the best footwear to be climbing up a snowy mountain. What's that, Jen? It's the marker, Justine. It gives us the coordinates. Oh, good. I don't have my phone. <laughs> you better turn up. gonna be crazy because it's all snowy and we're in tennis shoes. Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! I, somebody else did this and I'm in their trap! Oh god, my butt is so cold! Oh! I Oh god! My butt is so cold! It's going down. So we survived that downward spiral. Now we're heading off to Glacier, once we get back in the car and get a snack, of course. We finally 
finally made it to Glacier Point. We've been talking about it all day, so every time we got to a place, I thought that we were at Glacier Point. But no, we're here now. It says so on the map. Ew. That's us on our on our wagon. Such a cool 360 shot. I know you guys aren't that into 360 videos, but man, it looked so cool. This is the most famous spot like in the valley. So this is the tunnel view. It's incredibly beautiful. I mean, we've been all up and down these mountains, and it's kind of crazy just to be standing here and looking at all the places that we've been. And this is a waterfall up here. This is the size of the oh wow. And then he goes when there's a ton of snow. only for a few weeks of the year. That's the end of our Yosemite trip. We're backing up now. It's super early and we're gonna be heading back to LA. So if you guys enjoyed our video, make sure you go check out Jenna's video. We basically have the same video, but it's basically Jenna's version. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to make it different when we did the same exact stuff. Except I've got some humor in mine. I don't.